Do do do. Okay. Hello and welcome to another episode of Cookin' Time. My name is Jake Boyd and I am the adult programming librarian at Sterling Municipal Library. And today it is hot in my Texas kitchen. So I was thinking about what I wanted to make and I really didn't want to turn my oven on and challenge my AC any more than that. And then I thought my coworker Anita was like, come look at this beautiful new cookbook um, called Mi Cocina, which it's right over here, this pretty pink one right here. And then the thought hit me I should make ceviche just because it, I don't have to turn an oven on. All I had to do was caramelize these onions. Um, and even then for a lot of ceviche recipes, you just have to kind of macerate them in salt for a little bit. So we're going to get started. This might just be my shortest video ever. So in order to get this going, what I have here, and this is an interesting recipe, the cookbook is divided by region and this recipe is in the Yucatan section. Um, but I have here, two pounds of shrimp that I just got from my HEB. And then I have about one medium cucumber that uh, I cut into really small pieces. I got these little pieces of watermelon right here. Interesting, I know. Um, and then I have about one medium onion that I just caramelized for a second on the stove top. And then over here I have, this is three, ta three tablespoons of mint. He says to use lemongrass. Um, mint is listed as an optional thing, or as, a, as an alternative. I did not see lemongrass in my HEB. If you can't find it at your HEB, or wherever you go grocery shopping, um, you can also get it um, at Asian supermarkets pretty cheaply, because um, it's really common in Thai dishes. And then the juice from about two limes. So I'm gonna get my juicer here. Now, the thing with ceviche, is that we don't have to actually use any heating elements. You might be tempted to say like, ew, you're gonna eat raw shrimp. It's not really raw because the citric, or the citric acid from the limes is going to do much the same thing that cooking does. It still denatures those proteins in the exact same way that uh, any heat would. And also if you've ever cooked shrimp, you know they take about two seconds to cook. It's not exactly the most complicated cooking process. Right. Oh, I forgot to say, he also, obviously this isn't just mint, I put a little serrano in there because he says to use habanero oil, which I don't have in my house, but as any of my coworkers will tell you, I like things spicy, so I added a little extra serrano in there for some kick. Oh, and the other thing, technically this recipe is um, ceviche de camarón y leche de coco. So right here, I'm gonna add some coconut milk as well. Let me see here. We need about a quarter cup of juice, let me see. And we're definitely there. It's about a quarter cup. Let me just a little extra for good measure. Okay, and now my extremely complicated cooking process. I'm going to take, so I'll go ahead and just run it through this one more time. I'm gonna take my lime juice here and pour it over the shrimp. I'm gonna grab the coconut milk and put it in there too. I'm going to take everything. Oh, here, so I used this on my onions earlier. I'm gonna take the mint and serranos. I'm going to grab the watermelon and the cucumbers and then I'm going to add about a teaspoon here I'm fully eyeballing of salt and then I'm going to give it all a good stir Ooh, that's gonna be so good. And, all right. Now, 
all we're gonna do is just let these ju these shrimp marinate in those juices for about five to 10 minutes. Okay. And we're gonna leave it right there. And I will see y'all in about five to 10 minutes, okay? All right, my five minutes are up, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these caramelized onions in here too. Just one more color, this dish is so colorful. And just stir it on up. All right. It is ready to eat, and of course, the kind of good thing about this is that now I've got leftovers for like two more days too. All right. I am going to enjoy it with these here tostadas, but that is it for today. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you will join us next time. Remember, you can check out Mi Cocina by Rick Martinez at Sterling Municipal Library. Thanks. Bye.